Hello and welcome to The Delicious Revolution. I'm Joy Houston and I have some information for you on consumer supported agriculture. Um, it has a rich and interesting history so if you'd like to know more definitely hop on Google and uh, read all you can find. Uh, today I'm just going to give you the process of a consumer supported agriculture program in a nutshell. Um, what a CSA allows you to do is to support your local farmers by buying your produce direct from them. Now you're not just buying produce you're actually investing in them you actually commit to what's called a share um, showed us shows up as a box but you're committing to a share of produce each week from the farmer now that lets them know that they have a reliable audience and it helps them to plan and predict the need um, that they'll need to grow in their final crops each season now what's that what's in it for you is the freshest most amazing produce uh, generally the produce that shows up in your share has been harvested about 24 or maybe 48 hours prior to being being, uh, packaged up in your box and then delivered to a local drop-off location in your neighborhood. Um, now I love CSA for a lot of reasons. I'm just going to briefly gloss over my top five reasons for becoming a CSA member. The first and foremost is flavor. Bar none, you are not going to get produce like this, especially conventionally grown produce that tastes this amazing. Sure, if you go to a farmer's market, you can pick up what you want and it is also a great way to support organic local farms. But when you're a CSA member, again, those boxes have been harvested about 24 hours before and then put in your box and delivered right to your neighborhood. Um, and it just doesn't get any fresher than that and you can taste the difference. So that is my number one reason for being a CSA member is the flavor. Um, obviously, there's the quality factor as well. Um, because it's an organic um, CSA that I belong to, I know that there's no pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and no chemical fertilizers. That means the food is gonna be of higher quality and ultimately the soil um, is going to remain a higher quality as well and that's important to me. Um, another reason I love being a CSA member is the diversity. Now for some people this is a challenge um, because they may not be accustomed to some of the foods that grow locally where they live and because they might not be used to um, changing their diet with the seasons. Now there's lots of reasons to eat with the seasons. Um, the earth is happy to provide for us exactly what our bodies need at the time of year that we need it. So I see this um, year-round diversity in produce as a huge bonus. And if you see it as a challenge, um, please hang in there because as this video goes on, you will learn that I am going to uh, open up the CSA box that I get for you every week, show you what's in it, and teach you how to prepare that food um, by giving you recipe suggestions and menu plans so that um, if the diversity is a challenge for you, we can help you overcome that hurdle. Um, another reason I love being a CSA member is because it supports my local farmer and definitely my local economy and that's important to me. Um, I love that it reduces the transportation distance and that means a greener planet because of less emissions and anything I can do to reduce my um, my carbon footprint on my walk around this planet in this lifetime um, is something that I want to make an effort to do so I love it for that reason as well. So those are my big top five reasons for being a CSA member. And um, the CSA that I have chosen to join is called Tierra Miguel Farms. And their shares happen to be $25 for a box. Now, the, uh, a share may be anywhere from $15 to $45. Um, some have a half share or a share that you can get every other week instead of weekly. But personally, I love the weekly share. Um, it's no problem for me to go through that. Um, and the shares are delivered right here. Uh, into my neighborhood so I just drive down the street and pick it up uh, one day a week and I am ready to go. Now I would like you to hear directly from the farmer's mouth a little bit more about what it means to join the CSA. So my husband and I drove out to the Tierra Miguel Foundation Farm at the base of Cuyamaca Mountains and we got the chance to speak to the director of Tierra Miguel, uh, Jonathan Reinbold. Here at Tierra Miguel when we talk about our CSA we don't um, we don't say it's a way to buy fruits and vegetables. We, we talk about it as an investment in a farm and in farmland. Uh, we have a conservation easement here on the property. So we've gone ahead and uh, we're conserving this piece of property. And as a nonprofit, we are open to our community all the time. And we want people to know that this isn't just for us. This is for San Diego as a whole. So 
uh, CSA membership is a way to support our philosophy on preserving farmland, to support organic agriculture, um, and to, you know, as a, as a byproduct of that support, we also have really great food that comes out of here. Um, food that ha that is grown in season. And one of the great things about eating in season is that plants have just an amazing ability to provide our bodies with what we need at uh, a specific time. So people and plants have co-evolved together over eons. So the folks that live in a place, the, the earth provides for them what they need at that point in time. So by eating really close to home, you are getting food that is providing you the nutrients that you need at that time of the year. Um, and it's, you know, it's evident in uh, in the winter time, when we get our cold, you need vitamin C, and it's citrus season. It's a, uh, it's not just a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. It's the earth providing us the nutrients that we need at a specific time of the year. It doesn't get any fresher than the produce from Tierra Miguel Farms, but I'd like to help you make it a little easier to get that fresh produce onto your table in a delicious way your family will enjoy it. So each week I will open up the CSA Share, show you what's inside it, and give you some suggested recipes to use. Let's go ahead and look at what's in today's box. We have uh, two kinds of lettuce. We have two bunches of baby beets that look delicious. Um, we have some cilantro, oranges, carrots, uh, bacon avocados, um, a butternut squash, an acorn squash, and some dill. So what am I going to make with all the produce in this week's CSA share from Tierra Miguel Farms? Well, I might change my mind, but looking at that butternut squash and the carrots, I think I will make a baked vegetable gratin. Uh, that's a hot, fresh one on a cold night. I really enjoy that. With the parsley, I will definitely use that to make celery parsley cooler. Uh, the fresh carrots might get eaten right out of the box by my little boy Maverick, but if they hang around long enough, I will shred them and make some Thai spring rolls and um, use the lettuce and cilantro for that as well. I'll use the beets to make some ginger apple beet juice, one of my favorite veggie drinks, and I'll use some of the lettuce and some avocados to make an apple avocado salad, and some more of the avocados and the last of the cilantro to make some chunky avocado salsa. Now, I will make sure this recipe and all of the recipes mentioned here are on the site for you at thedeliciousrevolution.com will consider uh, joining the Tierra Miguel Farm CSA if you're not already or another organic local farmer near you I'm sure could use your support.